Hey everybody, Sean Hatzel here with Get Lean in 12 and inside this short video, I'm going to introduce you to a 4 minute evidence based protocol that's been shown to burn more fat than 60 minutes of traditional exercise. Now, I know this is a bold claim, but this is actually published in a scientific journal. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with me and you don't know who I am, I am a 45 year old grandpa to three beautiful grandkids. I'm a stubborn fat expert who's been in the health and fitness industry over 20 years. In the last five years alone, I've helped over 100,000 people with my products and services. And way back in 1998, I was the first runner-up grand champion of the world's largest body transformation contest called Body for Life. And then a few years back, I was actually voted America's most fit health and fitness pro over the age of 40 by Club Solutions Magazine. Again, I don't share this with you to impress you, but to impress upon you that the information I'm going to go over in this video is valid and it does work. So what they did with the study is they took two groups. The first group did 60 minutes of cycling at a moderate intensity. So this group was primarily aerobic and aerobic means with oxygen. So you can exercise for a longer duration at a lower intensity where oxygen is present. The second group did a 20 second sprint on a bike with 10 second rest between. So a 20 second short hard sprint with 10 seconds of rest. They repeated that seven to eight times this is often referred to as a Tabata protocol. Now what ended up happening was both groups actually exercised five hours per week and at the end of the study, they wanted to look at aerobic and anaerobic endurance to see what happened. In group one, their aerobic endurance and group two aerobic endurance both went up approximately 20%. Now here is where it gets interesting. Group one actually had no change in their anaerobic endurance or conditioning where group two had a 28% improvement. This is significant in anaerobic endurance. This is the only published study in exercise science history that I know of that shows uh, an increase in aerobic and anaerobic threshold of over 20% simultaneously at the same time. Now, there's a specific way you can apply this to your body, but keep in mind, this was done on athletes who are younger. So there's some drawbacks to this approach, especially if you're over 35 years old, because your fat loss hormones begin to decline rapidly. So, because there's a few drawbacks to this approach, one of them being age, and the other one being hormones, the other one is adrenal fatigue. When you do this type of exercise over 35 years old, number one, it's really hard for you to go hard enough to get the results of these young athletes. And number two, it can cause severe adrenal fatigue. This slows down your metabolism and will actually force your body to release more cortisol, which is your belly fat hormone. The other thing that you need to avoid is when you're done doing this afterwards, what happens is, is when you're over 35 years old because of your hormonal state, when you actually do these short hard bursts of exercise and release stubborn fat cells into the bloodstream, they can actually restore into another area of your body. The scientific word for this is called reesterification, but we've coined it fat defense. And if you're over 35 years old, you must avoid fat defense. Now fortunately, there's a 12 minute fountain of youth metabolic trick that we've developed that will allow you to get the same results as group number two right here, but without all the drawbacks. And somewhere around this video, you'll see a place to click or tap to learn about this 12 minute solution. And when you, when you perform this 12 minute protocol properly, you can burn more fat and calories in 12 minutes than you could in an hour of traditional exercise. So thanks for watching this and keep going strong.